Welcome back to NJ.com on Facebook now. James Cratch here with Jordan Ron, and uh, two hours ago or so, Ben McAdoo spoke to the media for the first time since the director of press conference here in Indianapolis at the NFL Combine. Jordan, I thought the biggest takeaway we can have so far is what he said about Victor Cruz, said he's absolutely going to be on the team in 2016. Yeah, I mean, that has to be encouraging when you think about, okay, what are their thoughts on Victor Cruz? This is a guy who's rehabbing now, missed by the time he gets back, it's going to be almost two two years, two full calendar years. Yeah. So, the fact that they said absolutely uh, that he is going to be on the roster, he said there's a couple things that they're looking into. Yeah. There's two things that can be. Number one, it's taking care of his salary. Look, he's yeah. not going to make eight million dollars this year if not playing for two years. It's a cap. Yeah, it's yeah. very hefty. That's not going to happen. So it could be that, but it could also be they're taking their time to see how he progresses, like why rush into a decision on him. This is a guy who, if he returns, could, like you can't count on it, no. but if he returns, would be a huge boost to a receiving yes. core that obviously needs, needs up. Yeah, yeah it needs up right now. Now, you know, you're looking at Victor Cruz, right? And you, you don't need to make that move right away. Why don't you need to make that move right away? Because they don't need that money right now. So they can sit there and wait. They have the, the luxury of being able to wait to see what happens with Victor Cruz if he hits a snag in the comeback, if he has some sort of setback. They, they could get the money in June. Yeah. You know, they could use it in, in May to sign their, their rookies. Uh, they don't need it. They, could, they have plenty of money right now. So they don't really need to get that money right now or make this decision right now. It's something to say, hey, why not? Why not wait on Victor Cruz? And I think that that's a big thing in this part of this decision here with him. Yeah, definitely. Ben McAdoo said he was recently at the facility doing some rehabbing. Looked good. Um, he yeah, he's been good. rehabbing. He's been rehabbing. So I think all indications are that Victor Cruz is going to be back in some capacity. And that was one of the big questions we had coming in here. And it has been answered 100%, but I would say it's probably been answered about 90% now. Yeah, but as, as as Victor Cruz even admitted, yeah. there's the possibility that he that he is doesn't that he doesn't make it back. Yeah, he doesn't play like you know the body could be breaking down. Yeah, and so we have what it is now February still. So the season starts in September. Yeah, there's six and a half months, you know, five yeah. plus months before the season starts. A lot can happen during that time. Another big thing uh, we you know say on a receiver is. Ben McAdoo was asked about Ruben Randall as a free agent in a couple weeks. Much more wishy-washy. Much more wishy-washy. He really didn't say anything. I wouldn't even say he offered a definite maybe about Randall being back. Yeah, I mean, there was nothing definitive. Yeah. It was very generic sort of answer. Nothing over. Nothing really that was positive. You know, yeah. that was saying, okay, yeah. this is a guy that we need to have back. This is a guy who was a big contributor, who was our second leading receiver. None of that. So. I mean, no matter what happens with Cruz, the Giants need a number two receiver, and it could be Randall, but it certainly doesn't look like it's likely to be Randall. Yeah, I mean, Ruben Randall is very unlikely to be back. I put the odds at 25% the other day. I think it's even going to be less. There's people yeah. that have soured on him in the building, and one of the main things was his work ethic was something that people uh, questioned. I mean, the, and then that kind of came through when you saw some of his route running and giving up on plays and stuff. Uh, and also just the desire to really be great and succeed is something that I don't think people in the building are totally convinced by. And after four years, if that's not the case, it's probably time to look elsewhere. Another guy we Ben talked about, Jason Pierre-Paul, said surgery went well on his hand, but he said it still hasn't been determined if he's be able to play without the club going forward. And for the Giants or any team that's thinking about investing money in him, he's going to be a free agent as well. That's got to be a concern. See, here's the thing. We've been hearing about this for a while now. Said Jason Pierre-Paul was disruptive. Yeah. He was a good player. You know, he was a useful player. Made an impact. He made an impact, and there's no reason to see why that won't be the case moving forward. But, on the other hand, he does not they don't even know if he's going to be wearing, if he's going to be able to play without a, a club at any point. How do you make that investment long term at this point? I mean, we saw. Sure, the Giants might want right. Yeah. The Giants might want it back, but more likely one year than one anything year. else. And is that what Jason Pierre Paul is looking for? Yeah. No. I mean, is is that other teams going to say no? We'll take a chance. We'll bring him in. You know, I, I think that's one of the big things we need to find out is. What the market? What's is the market going to be right. for him? And right now, it seems like everybody's kind of wondering what that is. 
you have to think, you know, if you're Jason Pierre-Paul, don't you have to, I mean, this may be his last chance to yeah. get paid. How, do, don't you have to sort of take the most money you can get at this point? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. We don't no. know if he's, nobody really knows if he can play long term, if it's how it's going to sort of pan out yeah. with the hand and uh, if he's ever going to be able to shed that club. So, are, and are the Giants really in position that they can take that risk? I mean, we talked about it earlier, the defense fans they have on the roster, Kerry Wynn, Ola Odigizua, Brad Bars. You know, so they, they need defensive. How many career sacks we got? Between those three combined. Maybe two? Max? I think it's one and one, a half. One and a half, maybe? One and I mean, a half look. sacks. So we're under contract on the yeah. roster right now. And those are three young players that you know the Giants feel good about, but they need pass rushers, they need production. And Pierre Paul in theory could give them that. But with his hand, you don't know. So what else did we hear from Ben McAdoo today? How about the running back situation? That yes. was a big topic of conversation here from Ben McAdoo here in Indianapolis. Running back by committee was discussed, and a little something on Andre Williams. Yes, um, Ben McAdoo got a lot of questions about the running back by committee, even though he's the head coach down in the big chair. The running back by committee is not going away. Uh, he, he defended it again, um, but he was asked a lot of questions about Rashad Jennings, and towards the end, he was asked about Andre Williams and what he can do to be productive, more productive as he goes into his third year. And, and Ben kind of said that he thinks people are writing off Andre Williams way too Don't soon. Don't give up on Don't him Don't give up yet. on him just yet. Um, a guy who I know fans have been frustrated a lot, had a disappointing second year. 2.9 yards per carry. 2.9 yards per carry. I believe that's what it was. Not a lot of yards after contact. Not a, but Ben McAdoo seems to believe that he has ability and potential. And Ben seemed to think that he's going to have a bounce back year. He said they, they've talked several times since he became the head coach. So that'll be something to watch. Well, they like Andre Williams yeah. as a person. He's a good guy. Great guy. A uh, hard worker. You can look at, just look at the shape that that guy's yeah. in. That guy might be in the best shape of anyone on the yeah. team. He's shredded more than anybody in that locker room, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, there are things to like about Andre Williams. Now, the production definitely wasn't there. They have to get the production out of him. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. They might like him more than everybody else, but it was pretty clear from He's what Ben McAdoo, McAdoo said that they're not giving up on him any, no. anytime soon. Like That guy is going to be on the roster, at least through training camp. He would have to really probably have a horrible, horrible training camp to not make the roster this year. A third, was he? Fourth, fourth round pick, 2014. Fourth round pick. Uh, a guy that they said at the time, they some people in the building had first round grades yeah. on, so... And all on that same vine, you know, he was asked about Rashad Jennings, the big finish in 2015. He would not commit to Rashad Jennings being the feature back at this point or getting more carries. So for now, it seems like the running back situation, they, they got four of them, Darkwa, Vereen, Williams, Jennings. It seems like we will go into the offseason program with the committee still being somewhat intact. Though. Now, where I do disagree with you from my take yeah. of what McAdoo said is that I don't think that the running back by committee thing is definitely still going to be intact. Yeah. I, that opportunity, like, and as you said, this is why the running back by committee still existed all year. Nobody grabbed that yeah. opportunity. Until the end. Well, Jennings kind of did at the end of the yeah. season. I think if, he comes, if everybody comes back and that's the running back group, which I think has a strong likelihood of happening right now, because they just have so many other needs. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure investing in that position is, is the right thing for them to do at this point. That... If Jennings does come back, he has the opportunity to be the lead back with Je with Vereen, obviously, as sort of like the passing down option. As long as he grabs it in training camp and preseason, I think it's a possibility that that ends up being the case, even if those other two yeah. guys are on the roster. Now, the other guys will probably still get some carries, yeah. but I think you know Jennings will get 15, 17, 18. Occasionally, if he starts to get going in a game, get to 20. So, to me, the running back by committee, not definitively still intact. And we'll ask about it until until it, something happens. Yeah, well, well let's be let's be clear about this. McAdoo is not going to admit that they made a mistake there. He's no. going to die with that running back by committee last year being the right thing yeah. for this team. Not my opinion, not I <laughs> Um, Any um, other final takeaways? Other from free ben agents McAdoo today? Uh, Prince Mukamar, Robert Ayers, kind of more the same with Randall. Nothing definitive. You know, the Giants will evaluate everything. Um, I would think that we would – I would feel that those two guys have a better likelihood of being back than Randall. But as of now, Mack is not tipping his hand either way. Um, obviously, Jerry Reese will speak to the media tomorrow. So we'll get to get from the personnel angle uh, tomorrow. Um, 
that's about it. You know, I, I thought McAdoo did well for his first time on the NFL stage. You know, his second press conference as head coach. First one was local. This was everybody in the room. No suit. No, no suit, suit today. Clothes fit. Um, I know everybody uh, loves that. Everyone's all over that. Got to know about that. But I thought he handled all the well. all the important things we're, we're touching on here. All obviously. the important things in Indianapolis. So uh, I think that was it. Yeah, to me, number one thing takeaway is the Victor Cruz thing. Absolutely was the answer to is he going to be on the roster next year? Now. You know, that's pretty crystal clear if you ask me. Um, obviously, Ben McAdoo is sitting there in meetings. Yeah. And if, if for some reason Victor Cruz isn't back, now you look at it as like, it's what is, no, or, yeah, or you look at it as, wait, what is Ben McAdoo's, yeah. you know, how much say does he have? have because if, if he's going up there and saying, absolutely, yeah. Victor Cruz is going to be back, and then they, you know, two days from now, they decide to yeah. reverse course and, and release Victor Cruz. Yeah. And it's not injury related. You have to wonder, okay, who's really calling the shots here? And obviously, it's not Ben McAdoo. But still, it sure looks like he's coming back. That's my number one takeaway. We'll be back here later this week. We... Yeah, we'll be out back on later. Yeah, we'll be back we'll later be here in Indianapolis. From all the week. NFL Combine in Indianapolis. I'm Jordan Ronan here with James Cratch.